Hey y'all, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I know I usually end the vlogs here, but I started off doing this intro in the living room and the lighting in there is awful. So I wanted to be in here with my ring light. So you'll probably get an intro and an outro right here. But anyways, I don't really have a whole lot going on today big surprise. I know that never happens here, but I will of course take y'all along with me for the day. I'm actually not going anywhere, so I don't know why I said I'll take you along. I will share my day with y'all. I'm mainly going to be editing, I think, because I'm going to try and get ahead on my editing. I've been ahead on filming, but editing I have not, so I think that will be a lot better and easier for me and less stressful if I try and get ahead. And I'm trying to use Final Cut Pro today because I've still been using iMovie just because I'm comfortable and familiar with it, but I know I'm not going to get better or learn Final Cut Pro unless I use it. So I'm going to use it today since I actually have time. And then later, I do have to put myself together and put on some makeup. And I will probably show y'all my simple full face routine since there's not a lot to show y'all today. And then I did want to go ahead and show y'all this tree now that it's done. And then I wanted to show y'all the living room tree with the new tree topper. I really like how it looks. I think the old one was just too small for that tree and it didn't look proportional to the tree since the tree was so big. So this one fits it better, looks really good. And then I did add those furry pink ornaments and I'm not sure what I think about it. So I want to show y'all and I want you to let me know what y'all think about them. So editing, doing makeup later. Oh, and my new Keurig finally came and I'm so dang excited. We ordered it before my computer and my computer came before the Keurig did. But in their defense, we did order it the week of Thanksgiving. So I'm sure they were closed for Thanksgiving and then they probably had a lot of Black Friday orders. But I just really wanted it because I was so excited about it. So I have a normal Keurig and then I also had a Revo also by Keurig which has a built-in milk frother and it takes small espresso pods. So then of course the regular one took regular K-cups. So I wanted to get this new machine. I forgot what it's called but I'll show it to y'all. But it has both. It has a milk frother and it takes regular K-cups but you can do espresso shots. So it's kind of my two machines into one. So I think we're going to give my regular Keurig to my mother-in-law. And then I was trying to sell the cappuccino maker but... It's just not working out. And I think that's about it for today. If I have time and if I feel like it, I really want to clean my desk off because I still have not done that where I had to move everything over for my computer. And I still haven't shown y'all my computer, but it's because it's still a mess over there. So I think that would also make me feel better because right now it's really cluttered and I want to clean that. So I might clean that later. That is going to be my day for today. So now I'm going to show you this tree and then take you into the living room, show you that tree, and open my new Keurig. Okay, so here is the finished product in here. I think I might need to add some more ornaments in like those areas where I don't really have much. And then here is the snow for the tree skirt. I need to kind of fix it, but that was such a good idea and I really like how it turned out. Okay, so it is called the K Cafe. I couldn't remember what it was called. Oh, so excited. Hi, baby. I saw her, this isn't very well, Daisy. Okay, so here's the little frother cup. <laughs> Do you see Daisy? She is on two feet. That's not for you, baby. Here it is. Excuse me, Daisy. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so here's 
what it looks like. I am so excited, y'all. So the frother is here. And then here's the different options, latte, cappuccino, and then cold. And then on top, here's all the options for that. It has a shot option, 6 ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, coffee, latte, and cappuccino, a strong button. I am definitely going to have to read more about it because that's a lot of options. And then, of course, there's where the pods go in. I cannot wait to try this out. I will probably wait because it's 4 o'clock. And if I have another cup of coffee, I probably won't be able to go to sleep tonight. Well, I couldn't do a cappuccino or latte because I don't have any milk. So I definitely need to stop and get some milk so I can try it out tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I will definitely film me trying it out tomorrow. So maybe by then... I will figure out how to use it. Okay, so now I wanted to show y'all the tree. So here are the fuzzy pink ornaments. Let me know if y'all like them or not. I can't decide. And then there's the tree topper. I'll back up here in a second so y'all can see it all. So I definitely need to move those back up, I think, and then I might add some of the berries around it just to make it look a little more full, but I pressed all the branches down up top to get it on there, and like I said, my husband had to do it because it kept being crooked and I couldn't get it right, so I think he just pressed it down on there more, what it looks like back a little way. So yeah, let me know what y'all think about the furry pink ornaments, if y'all like them, or if y'all think it looks better without them. So I am back home. I've actually been home for several hours, and I haven't really done a whole lot. I did the dishes because I had some clean ones in the dishwasher, and then I had a bunch of cups that I have to hand wash in the sink, so I went ahead and did that. Clean my new Keurig, clean my old Keurig for my mother-in-law and get that ready for her. And then I did add some berries to the top of the living room tree next to the tree topper. I still don't know how I feel about that, but I'm probably just going to leave it. And then I did hang up mine and my husband's stocking and then put the little clips up for... The kids stocking I still have to put their names on them and then I did put that red ornament garland on the TV stand and I think that looks really cute it is a little long but I think it'll work I just wish that you could see it because we have those gates up because Daisy likes to chew on cords so we have that in front of the TV so she don't get behind it I really wish we had some type of shelf or mantle above the TV because that would look really cute to hang the stockings from there and then have that garland because they're really really the only place we have for our stockings is the tv stand and that is right there like by it's not very tall so the stockings kind of hit the floor and then you can't see it because of the gates but it's fine it'll work there really isn't any other place that we can put them so that'll just have to do and then I forgot that I did have the Starbucks ornaments. So this is just a rose gold heart that has Starbucks written right here. And then this is a little hot cup with a rose gold lid and a gold heart. Please ignore my nails. Well, I already showed y'all I'm getting them done tomorrow. And I still don't know what color I want to do. I don't really do any type of print or anything like that. I know a lot of people have been getting like snowflakes and like Christmassy nails, but I don't really do that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might get like a deep red or like a deep purple. I don't really know. I'll have to get on Pinterest later, but 
This one is from this year and it might be my favorite. I don't know if it's going to show up. But it is pink glitter and I really want to get some more of these because how perfect is this ornament for this tree and I just feel like that is what this tree is missing is some little Starbucks ornaments but I'm going to hang these three here but I really do want to get some more of these I think it would be perfect even if I just got like three or four more I think that would be really cute but that is it for today if you enjoyed today's vlogmas please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of vlogmas how many times can I say vlogmas but that's it for today and I'll see y'all tomorrow